Code from Two Player Couch. Welcome back to the couch. A few days ago, I sent out a webcam video thanking all of the new subscribers and viewers for watching Two Player Couch. And I decided, in a means of trying to build a community, I would open up the floodgates and allow you guys to ask us any questions that you want. You guys did not disappoint. We got a plethora of questions, and today I'm going to be answering a few of them. So let's get started. Lonely Derp Gamer asks, "What was your biggest inspiration for making videos, and what is your favorite part of the video making process?" Well, a really big inspiration for me is that I am a filmmaker. I went to college for film. I've always had a deep love for film, and this is just a way for me to express that. Um, while I'm in the middle of making my own projects on the side. I enjoy Let's Players. Um, above my favorites is Markiplier and the Game Grumps. I really enjoy everything that they do. So on the Let's Player aspect, those two channels inspire me to want to make content and be funny and to entertain as many people as possible. But I've always had a deep love for entertaining as many people as possible, which is why I hope that Two Player Couch goes somewhere so then we have a broader audience of people that I can entertain and make laugh because if I can just make one person's day awesome then great. My favorite part of the video making process? I enjoy every part of the process for its own reason. I love shooting because it allows me to be creative and think on the fly and it's really it really helps with the ad lib side of filmmaking and um, commentary. It's just fun to do. It's fun to sit down with the Petro and talk about games while playing games. I don't want to miss the games part either because playing games is so much fun. I've always been a really big gamer like my entire life so it's fun to be able to sit down and play games and you guys enjoy watching us do that because we try really hard to make you guys feel like you're on the couch with us so it's a, a group experience. It's not just us making really bad jokes even though God, DePietro picks some really low-hanging fruits sometimes. <laughs> this next question is from XN Trick Gaming. What is the best way to get people's attention right after starting a Let's Play channel on YouTube? What were and are your strategies? Where, apart from Facebook, is it possible and useful to share your videos? The best way to get people's attention right off from starting a Let's Play channel is to do something unique. Because when you're really low and you're starting off, I mean, take this with a grain of salt because we're just starting, we're brand new also, but you want to do something different. You don't want to be like everyone else. Yeah, on occasion you want to play some of the high-end games that come out like immediately so then people are like, oh that game just came out, I know nothing about it, I want to check that out, and they'll click on your video. But also you don't want to constantly copy bigger Let's Players because people would like to watch them instead of you. So you need to be different, you need to be completely away from any other Let's Player, or at least try your best to bring something new to the table. What were and are your strategies? Well, uh, like I said, we try and be different and unique. I mean, me and DePietro could do one person Let's Play channels, but it's more fun because we're friends, we have a connection already, and you guys hopefully can feel that and we can bring more comedy to the commentary and to the games because of that fact. Not just that, but we've been told by a lot of our fans that we play a lot of unique games, not a lot of Let's Players play the games that we do, and if they do, we've gotten a lot of compliments to the point where they're like, I enjoy your Let's Play more than theirs, and I'm not going to call anyone out because like I said, we're really small and it would be stupid for me to be like, oh yeah, we're better than uh, whatever, but that's our strategy. Just be unique, be different, stand out from the crowd. As for places to post your videos and share, uh, we share on a few Facebook pages just because those Facebook pages aren't just like mass drops. People aren't just like coming in and spamming links and saying like, oh, sub for sub, because that's another thing. You don't want to sub for sub ever. Sub for sub causes trouble with your analytics and it makes it go all out of whack. And even if you two are friends and you actually want to help each other out by raising subs, 
it gets really complicated and YouTube thinks that they're not interested in watching your stuff so then they see other people aren't watching your stuff and, and how many minutes watched is a big factor and it's just a big convoluted mess. So if you really want to help someone out, watch their videos and if you want to continue to watch their videos, then subscribe. If you're just going around subscribing to any which person, that's how you end up with channels that have 300,000 subscribers and each of their videos gets anywhere from zero to five views. It just doesn't work out for anybody. But anyway, we post on a few Facebook pages and we also post on some forums uh, along with our own personal Facebook page, which you can get the link for down in the description if you want to go check that out. That'd be great. But basically, share your channel and your pages wherever you can get away with it. But don't try and push it on people. Don't spam it. Be nice and respectful about trying to let people know that you exist because that's the big point of YouTube. You can be really good at commentary and you can be really interesting and you might have the best video on YouTube since, you know, the, I don't know, the weird baby dancing from the 90s or whatever. You might have the most viral video ever, but it doesn't matter if people don't know you exist. You can have the best channel ever and still come out of this with only like five views per video. You just need to get out there and people need to know that you are a person and they need to feel like you're more than just a voice. Last question for today comes from New Fire Labs. What's the next game you guys are going to play? The next time that we get together to record, we're going to be recording a few different games. A majority of those are going to be one-off episodes because they're games that you can't really play for an extended period of time or have a really long series of. They're going to be one episode and then we're done with them. We're getting a majority of those games from a website called Game Jolt, which is an independent video game website where you can download games that people have made that are all indie or they're in the middle of getting greenlit or anything like that. So we definitely want to help independent video game creators, so we figured this was the best way, along with the fact that not a lot of Let's Players play indie games. Sometimes they do, but a majority of them nowadays only do it if it's like horror. This website has all kinds, and we hope that the games that we play will let you guys see games that you haven't seen played before, and that might actually help us and the creator at the same time. So, it pays off. It's good for everybody. It's great. Along with the indie games, we actually got sent by a fan a video game that they made for us to play. It's called Whitewash, so you guys get ready for that because I'm super excited. I'm so ready to play this game. I played it for like five seconds to see what it was about and like get the feel of it, and it's going to be a horror game, so you guys absolutely love when we play horror games. So uh, I hope you're excited. I'm super excited, so check that video when it comes out. Well guys, in an attempt to make sure that this video doesn't go on forever, I'm going to stop there. If you guys have any questions you want to ask us, please leave them in the comments below. If you've got questions, topics, requests, or you want us to review your channel, anything like that, we're down for anything. Just leave them down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can't even believe how helpful it is. If you want more videos like this, or videos of me talking about games, movies, and news and such, then check out this link to a new channel where I do all of the above. Great. Fantastic. This has been Dakota from Two Player Couch. I will see you on the next episode where we play some crazy games or I answer some of your questions. Thanks for watching, and I will check you guys later. Can you do that with a di my dick in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really offensive Whatever. slash funny. I don't even care. <laughs> oh no, this game's bullshit! Oh, oh no, this game's bullshit! Oh, green! Zero! Oh, not even a game! Go! Done! We're done! Stop the time! Look at that cow! Totally Zoom in on that cow! <laughs> Move! <laughs>